And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Quinn. This list was from a viewer over on YouTube that said they'd been playing this deck and having fun with it. And I, I was like, yeah, that sounds like a really cool combination, Azir and Quinn. Uh, so with Quinn, you want to attack a lot because Quinn needs to, you, needs to see you attack four times in order to level up. So the more attack steps that you have, the better. And of course, Azir wants you to be attacking because whenever your allies attack, you get your Sand Soldier that's in there attacking as well. Um, so we want to have lots and lots of attacks. We're going to have some Cataclysms and Relentless Pursuits in here uh, to do some do some extra attacking for us. Plus, we're going to want Scouts. So we're going to have Grizzled Ranger and Blinding Assault in here at, for some Scouts. Uh, we got this new Landmark that also makes some Sand Soldiers while we attack. Um, so it should be pretty good. It's going to be very similar to the Lucian Azir deck that's really, really popular, but it's just a little bit bigger and it has Quinn instead of Lucian and uh, tries to level up Quinn. So let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in Ranked. Here we go. All right, Twisted Fate Fizz. Hopefully we can attack a bunch. All right, so Shapestone definitely get gone. Like, Sharp Sight's good here to block these elusives, right? Because they have, like, all these elusives. Like, this is a really good trick, but we obviously want units as well. But hopefully we draw units. No, not the six mana unit. No, like, one and two mana units. Uh, then another Shapestone. It's greedy keeping both Sharp Sights for sure. It's just, it's such a good card in this matchup. All right, let's draw Azir. Wow. My shield is yours. Send one Shapestone back, find two more. I want to save Sharp Sight. All right, we got to draw a unit here. Anything to play that costs four or less mana. Unfortunately, they had the backup fizz. Perfect. Best draw in the deck. All right, they're picking a card. We're just gonna attack. We don't really need to play the Bright Steel Protector before attacking. Give them some other option for a blocker. No fear. No fear. All right, you scared now? We have three. Alright, good. Maybe their pick a card drew. Oh, I was gonna say maybe it drew like three Twisted Fates or Burble Fishes or something. They couldn't play all of them. Just doing this right now because you know next turn I want to play Cetria. The Hopper. Keep up, keep up. Whoa. And a long path to get you. They still have a lot of fleeting cards over there. Probably means like rummage. Because I don't think that Sprayfin was one of the, um, one of the cards that was drawn from Pick a Card. Uh, 
Okay. So I think they have used all the, the pick a card cards, because I think it was the Poro Cannon and the Rummage, and they discarded those, and then that iterative improvement. So this is 10 damage right here. Why, why'd you block way over there? <laughs> what are you doing? We need rallies. Ah, we really need rallies. Nothing gets between me and my mark. I guess we do get to attack multiple times with Quinn. But they can they have all these daring portals they can throw down just as like little blockers and then kill me on the way back with elusives. Plus they also have <laughs> uh, what four times as many cards in hand as I do because Burblefish still creates a card. But the the thing about losing to this deck, the thing that's not bad about losing to this deck, because, you know, normally you're like, oh, man, I lost. That's bad. The good thing about losing to this deck and to losing to Aphelios is that it ups their win rate, and so it's more likely that they get nerfed. Right? So that's, you just got to, you got to think of the long game. This is what makes Burblefish so good. It just makes these, like, random cards that have such a big impact. Do I like Prismatic cards? I, I do, yeah. I like Prismatic cards. I don't like the Prismatic noise. That's the really annoying thing about prismatic cards is the noise they make. But like the just like the other the new border and stuff like they look cool. This would be lethal. So this card right here is a card that Burblefish made. So they have they have three other cards. Okay, so that was the card that Burblefish made. And there we go. Alright, got the win. Want to know? All right, going to another extreme. Going to be going to the uh, combo deck. This one should be a good matchup for us. See, I think Prismatics would be amazing if they got rid of that noise that they make. All right, we probably don't need a second Azir, but multiple attacks can be really good against decks that are just trying removal. The sound is probably just too loud. I think that's what it is. I think the sound's too loud. Like, that that level up for the uh, champion, I feel like, is softer than the shine noise. I think it should be, like, that volume. So the bad news is they had that. The good news is they don't have that anymore for the um, for the sand soldiers that we will make. We didn't draw very well after keeping my after the three cards that we kept. These are all like cards that we can't really play that much of.
guess I'll just pass and keep the spell mana. Yeah, every time you draw a prismatic or it does anything, it makes that noise that's a little loud. Like that's it could make it like the the whenever you whenever you play it, it makes that noise. But it doesn't need to be when you draw it or when you you know hover over it or whenever it attacks. It's a little much. It is a little much. Do y'all think they have ruination in their hand? How likely is it that they have Ruination? Hopefully not that likely. To me. But I'm, I'm extending into it. Oh, nope, no Ruination. How about that? No Ruination. Okay. attack. Alright, so they're down to 10. Things at 7? Can't ever see that. 7. My is yours. So that's 8. This will be 9 and 10. Arise, tell the people what you have seen. I probably should just use... Yeah, okay, so this is a mistake. I shouldn't have attacked with this thing, even though I had the barrier. I should just attack with the 5-2, because the 5-2 is going to die to the Blighter Ravine anyway. Because if they have, like, Vile Feast that gets rid of the barrier, that's, like, an unnecessary card dying. So, yeah, I, sh I should be using the 5-2. Alright, there we go. They had to have Withering Whale. They did not. But then if they had Withering Whale, that was going to spend a whole lot of their mana, and we had another Cataclysm. We're going to be able to, like, Dune Keeper Cataclysm. Hmm. This is the third day in a row we've played against this champion combination, region combination. Yeah, that's true. Like, I, while I was saying that that deck's a good matchup for us, that doesn't mean that we're, we're going to win it 100% of the time, right? Even, you know, decks that are good matchups, you don't always win them. See what we see. Alright, we need to draw champions. Or not. I kept the combat spells because they're so good, but... I'm feeling pretty bad about doing that right about now. All right, slow speed, single combat. Okay. Well, I don't get the Sand Soldiers, but we got a single combat out of their hand also. Instead of them having Sand Soldiers.
feel like if I get Valor, Valor's gonna get Equinoxed. I guess it's still worth it. You gotta force them to have that. Where's our champions? We need our champs. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you're just one copy of Quinn Short. Yeah, go ahead. Also, if you if you want to try out the deck, but you said you're one copy of Quinn Short, um, feel free to, you could play like a Lucian instead. Um there's nothing wrong with that playing one Lucian, two Quinn. Just yeah, just go ahead and do that and you don't have to don't have to spend on a Quinn if you don't want to. The desert by my side. Rally. Because I'm just going to make this attack now since they made that challenge. So it's not going to be lethal. Because if I attack with this, then they get to... They would have been able to block with that messenger. And we're going for it. Because obviously we have <laughs> we have nothing over here. They have millions of cards. We gotta just go for it. No, let it happen. Maybe they just only have sharp sight. Single combat? Ah. So it's ephemeral. So it dies. Yeah, if, yeah. If we had golden ages with a with the rally with the barrier, that would have been nice. We're getting so close. This would put them down to one again. So I don't. I don't think we can win this from here, but. Okay. Well, we definitely can't win this from here. All right, just no no power, right? Like, no champions, no top-end cards at all. We just had no power. Still almost got there. Came close. All right, we won this one earlier, but it was pretty close. Let's see what we got this time. Hey, we got champions. Okay, that's a, that's a great start. We got some champions. This is me not doing anything turns one or two, but this is a very good three, four, five. And you know what? I'm going to keep that because even though I don't do anything turn one or two, I save, I get three spell mana the first two turns for this Cataclysm. All right. Sorry. I forgot about prediction. Here y'all go. Even though, you know, we're... Gonna be a good amount of the way through the game before the prediction ends. You need not bump, but you win. Greater things await. Cool. Glory. No, I'm not playing the blinding assault. I want to have the mana for this cataclysm, I believe. Okay, so I guess we're, we're playing the Cataclysm turn six, right? Because then, like, Valor, or, like, Quinn gets to attack twice on turn five. 
And then we, we, we Cataclysm for turn six double attack. We don't need that scout. All right, so yeah, so we'll have the Cataclysm for two attacks, turn six. Deal me in. I'm a people person. That makes life worse. Scouting ahead. It's gonna make leveling up Quinn more difficult for sure. So now just a Mystic Shot kills Quinn. Not even scared of shape stone. That's a, that's a good sign. Because they're only at seven right now. So this should be game over. It should be a win. Because even like Mystic Shot, we have Sharp Sight. And there we go. get another attack after this and then we will also get another attack after that and another attack after that no just let me attack come on boo we're gonna have the cool Quinn level up animation and get another valor Ooh. viewer Z I can try this I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna find champions or combat spells. Yeah, so they should be a standalone deck. Zed Fiora. You know, bunch of tons of combat spells, right? With like your chain vest and sharp sight. All that kind of stuff. They'll probably have like their own rally effects as well. I was definitely hoping they had Zed instead of Fiora, as far as those two are concerned. Because our deck is just all these small things. Just the way I like it. And Fiora is perfect against all those all these small things. Especially how we haven't drawn any any combat trick, right? Like no shape stone, no sharp sight for us. A lot of these other games, we've been finding a lot of those cards. My shield is yours. Let them eat so. Try me. I want to get the smaller units off the board anyway. Like, that's not a very good Bright Steel Protector attack. It probably doesn't matter because, you know, Fiora, it looks like they just have, like, the protection, but um, that's not... 
That allows me to get uh, something out of here that Fiora would kill very easily. Finally. The desert by my side. The finest blades for my I need only one to win. Sand and blood! Protect and strike. We don't have a very good shot, but we're going to try our best. They have a barrier card, they definitely win. Strike without worry. That's too bad. They had a barrier card. Well, we can make them die also. If we're gonna die, they're gonna die. All right, so that was a fun fun deck to play. Went three and two with the Zier Quinn, and we honestly didn't have our champions that much, right? Like those, both of those two losses, we didn't have uh, any champions in. Um, but uh, that last game, I feel like we could have done pretty well against if, if it was Zed. Like if they were just like buffing up Zed, but Fiora with us having all those small units, that's not really a good matchup for us for Fiora. Like <laughs> that's exactly what you want to face. They're like, oh, you're going Sand Soldiers? Man, I love my Fiora against Sand Soldiers. All right, but anyway, um, definitely fun to play. Lots of attacks. Really good against the Watcher deck if you are struggling against, like, that Lissandra Trundle. I think that's a good matchup. Um, I liked the Inspiring Marshal. I liked the Cythria. I liked kind of everything in the list. We didn't really Rock Hopper too much. Um, but the Rock Hopper is kind of a necessity, kind of like with the Ancient Preparations for Shapestone. Um, if you want to play Shapestone, you got to have those, but... Um, yeah, it was a nice little fun deck to play here. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you've been playing this kind of deck also, let me know how it's been going for you. If you got any different card choices that you're playing with your Azir Quinn list. Um, or if you're somebody that plays Lucian Azir quite a bit, let me know what you thought of Quinn um, instead of Lucian. Because I could see Quinn being really good. Like, Quinn leveling up with those Valors is awesome, but... Um, you know, Lucian's really powerful too. So, uh, but anyway, that's all I got here for this one. So those, uh, I already said all that. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching is what I wanted to say, but I, I can never say that, that enough. Yep. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.